Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen, to the third, that's right, the third review on the V12 by Speedy Feet. Now, if you're wondering what I'm on about third review, you probably need to pause this video, pop back, check out video one and two, which will be linked below in the description, which by the way, no one ever looks at, and click on those and watch those videos first, because this is just, I say quick, but it's gonna be a fairly quick-ish update. Every time I go out on this V12, it seems as though it wants to rain on my parade, as it were. Every time I head out and it rains. So I've been trying to fit in all this mileage in between the rain showers, which has been pretty much impossible. So here I go again to clock up the miles from 250 kilometers to 650. Well, not far on. I'm there. That's where we're at at the moment. 650. Just hit it today. How have I been getting on since the 250 kilometer review? Has it cut out and slammed my face into the ground? Do I have any arms? If before you find out any of that, you could like uh, this video and subscribe and also comment. Those three things really help apparently with the old algorithm which controls and runs YouTube. I sort of see Mr. Algorithm sat in a black chair in a deep in a cave somewhere stroking a white cat. Not sure if that's true, but if you could do that, it would be appreciated. I'm gonna go straight in with off-road. So this wheel romps through any conditions, but I'm gonna hark on back about that tire. The tire needs to be a little bit more grippy if you're riding in the sort of conditions I've been riding in. Now, as I alluded to at the start, it's been a little bit damp, shall we say. So it has been the worst conditions I've ridden in for quite a long time. And when I say that, I mean, it's not puddles and things like that. It's almost like a layer of dry, compacted ground with a slick, icy layer of mud, sort of three or four mil in thickness above. And that makes some really, really slippy conditions. So from that point of view, if I had spikes on this tire, it might be better. So it's a little bit unnerving, coupled with the height that I've got it set at, which is just standard at a box, but it's pretty much the highest. That makes it a little bit more unstable off camber. Of course, the lower center of gravity, the better, the more controllable it is, and the less likely it is to slide out from underneath you. So those two things combined, well, three things really, road conditions or track conditions, the ride height and the tire, all contribute to let's say skill building rides skill building is a good way of looking at it because actually if you can ride in that sort of terrain with that sort of response you're going to be able to pretty much ride anywhere i would suggest aside from the tire everything else has been spot on i was riding late one night back home and I decided to go off the road and go into the trails. So there I am flying along this lovely smooth trail, which I know very well and I've ridden it a lot of times. Um, but what has happened because of the torrential rain pools we've been having, uh, it actually washed away some of the track. So it was very hard and compact and it suddenly had a, like a culvert ground into it by the rushing water. And I hit that and it was just looked, of course, like it wasn't a deep hole, but it was actually very deep. I hit that going probably about 20 odd miles an hour and I was absolutely fine, didn't come off. It handled actually the amount of water quite well because it was pretty deep. Hit straight into it, um, came out the other side. And I was like, whoa, got away with that. But it handled it well, there was no cut off, nothing like that at all. Brilliant, spot on. As you would have learned from video two, I let a bit of pressure out the tire and that has made a world of difference in terms of ride comfort. Uh, it's just a lovely, lovely wheel to ride now. In fact, it hasn't been difficult to put miles on this wheel. Sometimes it takes a bit of a push to want to go out and actually ride, but what's actually been happening is I just enjoy riding it so much so I've been able to do it through the rain. Also with that, it's definitely worth mentioning that that waterproofing sort of claim of how water resistant it is, um, is sort of a bit of a, it's goaded me to go out there really, and it has performed in some torrential rain pours, which I would never recommend anyone goes out in. Um, but I did, and it's had no ill consequence at all. The screen hasn't got water underneath it, it's been operating fine, I've had no issues whatsoever, so that's encouraging. I find with it on the commuting mode, that's the best mode for me. I just love the softer lean in and lean back when you're braking. It's not as harsh as the off-road mode through the app. So I basically been riding on that since I switched it across 
and it's just been very very comfortable and relaxing to ride the acceleration as i mentioned before is spot on in fact i did a little test riding through this horrible mud of going forward and then slamming into reverse from, from about 10 15 miles an hour and just seeing what it does you can actually get the wheel to sort of stutter and start spinning backwards because it's so slippy so that was just a bit of fun really um i say fun but i sort of thought i might come off and hurt myself but no went all right On the road, it absolutely just eats it up. It holds its own. It will just cruise at 50 kilometers an hour, 55 kilometers an hour, not a problem. Doesn't miss a beat. Um, so if you're whipping through the roads and then heading out onto trails and stuff, you can cover that ground really quick. In fact, talking about covering ground, someone lost their husky in the woods. Now, I'm sad to report I didn't find it, but I was able to do a big, massive circuit and it was over about 10 mile radius. Now, for the last week, they've been looking for that dog by, on foot. Of course, they cover hardly any distance in a huge amount of time, whereas I cover a lot of distance in a small amount of time. That is a really useful tool, to be fair. So I covered a great distance, huge loop to all the areas that have been spotted. Uh, say Sally didn't find it, but I did cover that area in a short space of time. These should be search and rescue units. They should be in the back of a 4x4. They can whip them out and a couple of people can bomb around on them. Cover a huge difference distance in a short space of time. So, yeah. So with no faults or anything like that, there's not a massive amount to really report. It's carried on working absolutely fine. The wear points such as the foot plates, the top surface, the grippy surface, the grip tape still grippy. Hasn't worn down, no signs of wearing down at the moment. That's been absolutely fine. I've got no errors, no faults, nothing at all. All working exactly as it should. So there's nothing really to report and I can't see a lot going wrong between now and a thousand. So I'm at 650, I've got to hit a thousand. That'll be the final review. So I will report back at the thousand kilometer mark, which at this rate, I'm going great guns on this wheel. As I say, it's a pleasure to ride. So it should be fairly imminent, those videos really. So we will see. But if you've got any questions, concerns, comments, just put them below and I will try and respond to them. I can't promise to promise all of them, but I'll try and respond if I can. Go and check out electricpeople.org. We pay quite a bit of money to run that site each month. It's a social sort of site. Uh, it's not Facebook. If you're not on there, you can pop over there, join in the conversation. You can upload videos and photos and things like that. And very importantly, don't forget to check out speedyfeet.co.uk where you can buy your wheel and accessories there so pop on over check that out check the offering out you can also pre-order this very v12 so so go and check that out there up on the website if you go to unicycles all unicycles it's under there of course we offer a load of other wheels as well if it says add to cart it means it's in stock and good to go thank you very much guys for joining in and watching and commenting um i will see you on the thousand kilometer review so i'll just leave you with some beautiful lovely footage of the v12 in the wild see you next time